freedom without morals and order equal chaos. See the invisible stuff. That's the name of the channel spell just like that. If you like a video, like a video, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. All right, when I start having conversations about stuff like this, right? When people have a right to do something, I feel like sometimes when you have conversations about stuff like this, they get stuck on their right to do something. When I don't question whether someone has the liberty to do something, you know, that, that's a separate issue whether, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not debating that, that. My question is, what are you doing with the liberty you have and why do you choose to do what you do with the liberty you have? That's all I'm asking. Some people may say, well, because I can, well, because I'm grown. Already understood, right? But the question is, okay, why do you choose to do this with that freedom that you have? Because you know what? Just because you have the right to do whatever you want, don't mean you can do anything you want. That sound, I know that sounds like a contradiction. This is what I'm saying. Literally, can you go pro do anything you want if you have that right? Can. But what happens if people literally, well, look at the world. Look, people are doing whatever they want. How is things working out in a lot of instances? Now, in some instances, things are working out good. But just because you can do whatever you want and you do whatever you want, don't mean it's a good look. Don't mean things is working out. A why is still important. Why am I doing this? Right? Why do I feel like I should do that? The why is still important, not just having the liberty to do it itself. The why and what am I doing? Those two, that, those two important questions, right? The why, look, ain't no getting around that. We are just human beings, right? 99.999% of the things in the world to know, we don't know, right? We didn't create ourselves. We was created by God Almighty. To get to him is through Jesus Christ. We need to be trying to suit our what's and our why's along with what he says, right? That's that's the all that's the measuring stick right there, right? I want any individual why can differ from another individual's why can individual from another individual what, individual what their what their why his what his why so blah, blah 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 who's right who's wrong blah 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 no and everything ain't everything ain't just no matter of opinion everything ain't just a matter of how we feel there are such there is such a thing as right or wrong and God does determine that right or wrong that's the truth he made us he knows what he's the manufacturer of man and of this earth the universe ain't God God is God he created the universe and us we need God's order and morals in order to not have chaos yes we need God orders through accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior, we need God's orders and morals to avoid chaos. If not, chaos will probably, chaos has been ensuing. The more freedom we get, the more chaotic things get. Start with this device that I'm on right now, the smartphone. What you do with it, social media. You can go, you, you can go see somebody get killed on social media probably right now. Some Somebody probably got a video of somebody getting killed. Now you can just go digest that. You can watch all types of weird, crazy stuff. You can, you got, people got access to porn right in the palm of their hand 24 seven, right? This, this thing right here is a form of freedom, right? You can, you can go anywhere in the world, anytime you want, look at anything you want, but what are you gonna do with that freedom and why are you gonna do it, right? Cause those things I named are not good. Being able to go just look at death, being able to just go uh, see all this sexual perversion and everything like that, that's not a good thing. Nobody who watching this, who love they, who love somebody or love themselves, wouldn't want themselves in any of those positions. Y'all don't want to be the person getting killed or killing nobody. And if you got a daughter or if you somebody, you don't want your daughter, even if you got a son, you don't want your son going make porn. Flat out, right? So whatever they chose to do with their freedom and whatever we choose to do with our freedom matters. It's not just they have a right to do it. Of course they have a right to do it if they want to, all right? Cool, but so what? 
you know, what it, what kind of impact are you going to use your liberty for, good or bad? And like I say, what determines that? God's Bible, God Almighty, and His Word. That determines that. That's the measuring stick. And you know, that's the measuring stick. And, and if it, and if we go by, we'll be all right. You know, what do people really obey the Ten Commandments? That, how, how much better would the world be?